she was the pal mate, for lack of better words, to the dog that was involved in the cruelty case that we just uncovered. Uh, that dog is at Red Bank Animal Hospital still recovering. And there's a night and day difference, obviously, where that dog was obviously just discarded, and this dog had some type of care. Now, this dog was just recently groomed, we see that, but the, uh, the suspects in this case were uh, reasonable enough to sign this dog over to us, knowing what's going on with the upcoming case. It's very, very closely cut, and it's just recently, and the nails looks like it's ready for a show. I mean, even my own dog's nails aren't as groomed as that nail's dogs are, and uh, so it shows that they, they probably wanted to clean, clean it up, knowing that we might be coming. We, from the onset, knew that there may be another animal in the house, just from anonymous tips that we were getting, but we didn't want to alarm the suspects that we knew, because then there was a chance that the dog might be hidden or disposed of in another manner. So uh, in conjunction with the prosecutor's office, I was in contact with them, and we were more or less just waiting for things to calm down a little bit so we could send somebody over to the house and actually try to talk to people into letting us view the animal or maybe surrendering it. You can see this dog here. It looks like it's almost ready to be adopted right away. But before it's adopted out, we're going to have it completely worked up by the vets here at the Mama County SPCA. Make sure it is healthy. We have, there's been no fecals or anything like that done on it. We don't know if there's underlying problems. From face value, the dog looks fine, all right? And we're hoping that's the way it's going to be.